Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Check out this U Part video. I'm going to do this moisture treatment with my hair, and I'm using this Caviar collection. So we got the Replenishing Moisture Shampoo, we got the Replenishing Moisture Conditioner, and I'm going to use this BB um, Invisible Oil Mask. So now I'm doing the first wash with shampoo, and now I am like going in about to go in with the second. I only put it on my scalp though, but the second time I put it throughout my hair. Now here's a tip. When you do a second shampoo, it's supposed to lather like with a few drops like this immediately. That means that your hair is clean. But I always do a second um, shampoo because I do put a lot of oil in my hair. So I wanna make sure that it's taken out immediately. Now, a lot of people probably say, oh, you're taking the oil out your hair, but I'm actually adding more moisture with the shampoo and the deep conditioner. And it's kind of weird though, because you really, the instructions on the deep conditioner says after shampoo, or the mask, excuse me, says after shampoo, then you, you know, use it, but I'm going to use the conditioner and I'm going to use the mask. So it's kind of counterproductive because I think once you use the conditioner, it kind of locks in. So I might mix the conditioner and the mask, depending on how much conditioner I have, because of course, this is only a trial size. So I've already shampooed my hair. This is the second time. I'm making sure I'm getting in everywhere because I do have dandruff, so I do want to make sure I clean my scalp as best as I can. And that's what I was doing at first. I was putting it on my scalp first and um, letting it just, you know, afterwards I massaged it in, um, then put it on the strands because really you want to shampoo your scalp. And then you want to condition your actual hair. All right, I think we are clean. Now I'm going to add this BB's, it's called Bumble and Bumble. Hair dresses invisible oil mask. Let's see how this goes. I never tried this before. It's supposed to be for moisture. So, feels thick. Goes on smooth, okay. Using, smells good. Smells really good. Probably gonna use this whole thing. And I'm kind of just keeping it on my hair, a lot on my edges, because I'm doing a U part and, oh gosh, try not to get this in your eye. I'm um, doing a U part, so I wanna keep my edges moisturized. But now I'm trying to figure out, do I want to do you part um, with clips or do I want to sew it in? Because it's a kinky curly hairstyle and if I sleep on it, it's just going to cause a whole bunch of trouble. Um, so if I take it off, it's probably more manageable. But that means I have to sew in clips. All right, so now I set it for the timer and I am rinsing out the mask. This is pretty much my anchor braid. Um, and this is my layout for when I do my U part. So I'm doing a kinky curly U part, all right, today. So what I did was I did my original leave out that I'm only leaving out this side. Usually I'll leave out the front, but I'm testing something out. So I'm just gonna bring the whole front up. That way I can have like a deep, deep part. That's what my goal is, a deep, deep part. I hope this is enough leave out. But it's curly and it's not straight, so it shouldn't have any problem. It should be fluffy at the root. Anyway, so I just braided this, and you wanna braid this side a little thin. This side's not gonna matter because the hair is gonna be covering over it and the hair is kinky curly, so it's big anyway. And I braided it all the way around. And then I braided this one. And thank gosh for my short nails because I was able to braid it nice and closer to the leave out. So that way, because I'm doing cones. I was originally going to sew it in. This sewing in business is not cutting it because I want to moisturize my hair. And considering that it's curly, I can't really moisturize my hair like that with the U-part sewn in. So for the next two weeks, because I wash my hair every two weeks right now. So I'm going to do the whole you know, moisturize while I do that. Okay, so I did that. My hair is still damp. Um, it's probably almost dry right now. Um, so I am going to braid the rest of the hair, okay? Now this is pretty, gonna. this is gonna be pretty quick and pretty messy. I'm not braiding like tiny, tiny braids. I'm just gonna braid like big braids, okay? 
And I didn't put any oil or anything. I just put the leave-in conditioner in my scalp. Um, sorry, not my scalp, in my hair. So we're going to take... We're just going to braid going down. Now, I'm not a good parter by any means, okay? My braiding parting skills are so whack. Like, super duper whack. I don't know why. I just know not a uh, part. I mean, obviously, I would probably have to practice. But considering I've been braiding forever, you would think I know how to part by now. But, anyhow. All right, so we are braiding. And it's a little damp, so I have to... um. Take my time because I don't want to put break any of my hair. If it was dry, it would be a lot stronger, of course. Okay, so I'm just going to braid all the way around, just going back in big braids, carry them up and wrap them up, and that's pretty much it. So I did my braid out. Okay, this is, looks crazy. It's not the neatest, but it is going to suffice. Um, it's a little damp, so I'm just going to wait till it dries before I actually install the U-part. But I'm going to check to see if the actual U-part is dry. And I am going, the inside is dry. And then I'm going to start sewing the clips on. Because like I said, I'm not going to sew it on. I'm just going to add the clips and clip it in. And hopefully it fits. Because let's just hope it fits. Alright, so I'm actually going to sew this down instead of um, adding clips. Just because I, the measurement, this is a little bit off because I have too much leave out over here. Um, and I think I made my leave out um, too far to the side. So I'm just going to start my braid off here and I figure that it'll work out. So I'm just gonna go around and make sure that this thing is covering the braid. Um, this part is a little tricky because I'm just going to have to bring this further back. You just pretty much go around the perimeter, make sure that on this. Okay, so this is good, right where it's at. So it's coming right in my face is where exactly where I wanted it to be. Be careful with your fingers. Um, and don't make the thread too long because you don't want it to get tangled because you're going to have to re-thread it anyway and go around the back. I only use one thread to go around this side and then I re-thread the needle so I can go around the perimeter and the edges. So I'm probably going to start off here and go around, but I'm going to end this over here because I want it to go in. So I'll probably just carry it around under there, but okay, not bad. You want it to be seamless. You do not want to see the braid. And that's why it's very important to make sure the braid is not like all the way over here and you have too much hair like this. You see this braid, you don't want it to look like that. You want it to be like down here so that way you can grab it. And it's not like, because if I braided here, look at all this hair that's left out. So it'll just be a hot mess. So this is my first time not leaving any edges on this side. Well, on the side that is pretty much covered because you know what if it wind blows oh well I mean it's freaking warm outside it shouldn't be a damn hailstorm okay so that looks good and we're just gonna carry it around and make sure you have enough because I'm gonna double sew it here Just to make sure, okay, that is secure. And then I'm going to knot it. All right, so I am now going to continue braiding this on this side. Now, this side is going to be a little tricky because, let me try this. I have to get this flap somehow to go here but I don't want that because then that hair is sticking out so what I'm going to do is just pick it up from here and try to secure it through this is going to be tricky if you can see through there so it's not actually let me just I'm going to have to keep doing it over and over again because just to make sure I lock in that um All right, and now I'm going to just do some magic and try to get this part. Oh, 
Okay. So right now I've got it sticking here. So that's good. So it's not popping out anywhere. Um, and now I'm just going to braid the perimeter. Okay, so. And we're just going to keep going around. And around until we get all the way back over here now this could make it all the way over here we're gonna see all right so stay tuned hey all right so this is the final result I took out my hair my leave out kind of added some edges over there so you can see it is giving me all types of natural I actually did um, put like a rinse on the top part because some of it was just too brown and I'm like my hair is black and I didn't want it to be you know not blending in right but my hair is kind of short on the top so it blends in perfectly and the only thing I would not do is what I did I would leave out some front just because you know you might be able to see it so I just added a little bit of edge control there and you know Toodle, toodle. But what I will do, and I will suggest when you are going to sleep, braid it in the direction you want it to go in. So I will add some water and some like kind of like curling custard, maybe the Malay pomegranate honey curling um, custard to it, just a dab because it will flake your hair. Um, and that way it'll just fall here and probably blend it a little better. But I'm just going to a barbecue in my backyard, so I'm not going anywhere. But yes, so hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Later.